All right, team, we're starting a new project and we need one of those uh, API things. We've got two options. First, there's REST. REST, is that like an afternoon nap for servers? Not quite. It's a way of structuring APIs that uses specific predefined URLs to get data. Ah, like the postal service delivering mail to the specific addresses. You got it. Now the other option is GraphQL. GraphQL lets you request exactly the data that you want. No more, no less. So how does GraphQL work its magic? With GraphQL, you have a single endpoint. You send a query specifying the data that you want and it returns that. With REST, you can do a slash user slash ID to get user info by the user ID and slash user slash ID slash post to get the posts of that particular user. With REST, you need multiple requests. With GraphQL, you can just define the user ID and the information that you want. One request is enough to get all the data that you need. Got it. So any real life examples, major companies like Facebook and GitHub use GraphQL for their APIs. It helps them handle complex queries and deliver a tailored experience to users. REST on the other hand is used by giants like Twitter and YouTube for its simplicity and efficiency. So the choice basically depends on your project's need.